So this printer is from Banzai and um, it's a handheld inkjet so it might not be for average user because uh, it's quite expensive but it's very useful for a shop owner or if you need to print a lot of stuff on the go. It comes in a aluminium casing which is like this give you the um, protection that you well deserve. Now in terms of price why um, like I say, it might not be a personal like individual who will buy these kind of things, but it's good to be. Uh, I bought it for £459 on Amazon. It comes with the ink, but the replacement ink is about £100. So, like I say, it might not be for a normal home user, but I do print a lot of stuff, so um, I want to use that. Now, Although it's, only, um, it's a handheld printer, but you can actually, I have seen the promotional video where you can mount it on a uh, conveyor belt. So once you set up the products pass through and the kind of print on top, which is like really, really sleek and smart design. So what it comes with, so there is a cable here. It is like a mounting bracket. Now this is the one I was talking about. I've seen in the promotion video. So this is to help, help the product to glide along the printing Head. I can tell this is an ink cartridge. It's just like a normal inkjet cartridge, but obviously the size is uh, slightly uh, different from your normal common ones. And um, the printer head is actually on the printer itself, so uh, on the ink uh, cartridge itself. It comes with an LCD display, which is a color display, uh, power button, and some buttons at the back. Now I am in the UK, and um, this is like a two-pin adapter, which is. Not ideal. Um, I was expecting them to have a uh, three pin socket, but never mind. I do have some kind of a converter that I need to use. Now, in this video, I'm not going to show you the mounting and the conveyor belt system because that's not what I bought it for, but we could do some fun stuff with it. This is the ink cartridge. I think uh, this is about 100 over pounds. I think that's the only down, down. This is the only problem with this kind of printer is that the printer itself is already very expensive, but the ink is very expensive as well. Okay, now this is fully charged, so to switch it on, just press the button on the bottom and it will start. Effectively, what this is is a computer inside here. Obviously, the printer is in, in the front, so computer, printer in one. And you handheld this to print. Now, there's a warning here say ink box not installed. All you need to do is press this button here, to open the top lid. Okay, to install it, all you need to do is make sure the printer head aligns with the hole here and you kind of slot it in. Oh, there you go, just need to push it in. So if the chip doesn't match the coding in there, then it wouldn't work, so it stop you from using a third party kind of an inject cartridge, like most of the printer on the market. Let me show you some of the control here. So um, you got setting, maintenance, management, device info, and what you need, really need is a USB stick to put your graphics or image, and then you can transfer it in. Okay, so it looks like it created a QR code for me, so I'm going to confirm. So this is the first first thing I print with this machine. There we go. So it's tiny, but it is the QR code that we generated just now. And we can test it out and see if it actually works. It works. So from creating the QR code, print it on a piece of paper and use a device to scan the QR code and it works. I think this is like kind of a practice make perfect. One of my um, immediate complaints or suggestions for anyone who designed this thing is Maybe there's a laser marker that you can point and know exactly where it goes because obviously if I do it loads and loads of time I kind of understand that roughly it's starting from the roller here 
but there's no marking. So, you know, should I do it here? Should I do it here? If I need to do it precisely on that line, right underneath this one, for example, for at the moment it's like a guess. I have to line up the line up the ink print head and then maybe there. A bit troublesome though. So for example, if I want the QR code right under the comb, right here, I have to line it up roughly where the sensor is, press the button. See, I missed it. So instead of here, you know, instead of here, it printed here. But nevertheless, it looks really sharp on paper. And I think I've done it once already. So if I scan the QR code, it will take me right to the website. So if you need, you know, QR code onto your product and stuff like that, then this is kind of perfect. So let's try, let's try to have three things set up and see what happens. It's actually really fun. So I'm going to have fun trying it out. I'm sure there's a lot of other things that I missed out. Now it does come with, at the beginning of the video I did tell you, it does come with this uh, optical cable. So if you are really into industrial kind of like um, um, usage for this machine, you can actually plug this in and then have the optical sensor knowing when the product comes through. And then when it scans through, it will actually scan on the products like a conveyor belt. But for the purpose of this simple video, I'm just to tell you that it prints um, fonts, numbers, barcode, QR code. This is what it's designed for. If you try to print like a complex picture, like a, a portrait or, you know, pictures, it will not come out. Now, battery takes an hour or two to charge up. And uh, I've been playing around with it for half an hour to one hour. And it dropped by one bar so i guess it depends on how much you print as well um the ink every time you finish printing it does tell you to put the cover back on so it doesn't dry out um like any like any other uh, inkjet product you i wouldn't not use this for a long time if you're in a warehouse and you use every day i'm sure that would be okay but a lot as soon as you finish what you need to do is take the ink out of the machine. It doesn't matter if it's a switch on. The menu say that you can actually do that while while um, the machine is on. Make sure the ink go back into this. You kind of have a soft gel here which touches the print head and I guess that will stop the ink from drying out. Fantastic too, a bit on the expensive side but there is not much competition on the market and to be fair it printed fantastically on paper, it printed fantastically on cup in cardboard. <laughs> Got a bit of ink on my hand. How do you get there? I don't know. Bit of alcohol gel. We have plenty of that at the moment. So and the ink will come off. Now the the reason why no alcohol will work is because this uh, I have looked up the ink and the ink is actually a solvent based ink. That means that it will dissolve in uh, organic solvent. Alcohol, obviously one of them, not the strongest thing, but it kind of um, takes it off. If you buy this for your company and your employee is messing about with this, alcohol gel do the trick. So now that actually, while I'm doing that, maybe this will be a good test in terms of, do they actually come off? If I put some alcohol gel on the envelope and rub it, And no, it doesn't. The ink is already kind of absorbed into the fiber of the box. So this is kind of a good test in terms of uh, for your printing on cardboard boxes. Does it smudge off? No. Similar to what the, the machine will, what the machine done in Amazon. They're not gonna come off because they are already ingrained onto the cardboard. But on my skin, obviously, they were sitting on the surface of my skin, so a bit of alcohol actually wipes it off clean. 
um, just something that you should know. Um, yeah. Bonus. Thank you.